Hey everybody, we are live from Asheville, North Carolina in a hotel room and I am joined <laughs> by my good friend Jamie who is here doing the whole run this weekend and come on in a little bit more let's try to like get you in here yeah so this is awesome we get to hang out it's awesome you, so far so good you get to be on this side of the the screen this weekend hey jason and uh we're gonna give everybody a little scoop here when okay. you came up to the hotel what did you get to do this I morning got to meet jake it was uh pretty cool <laughs> right up in the elevator yeah. to the room so happy saturday fuck yeah <laughs> all right so this is exciting because this is the first time i've gone live on the road and gone live with a guest awesome so this is fun so i feel special yeah and you get kind of like <laughs> behind the scenes to see all my stuff i do need to grab my Usually on that side, so it's it's cool to see how it works. For <laughs> the chaos is over here. Um, yeah, so tonight the band is night two at Salvage Station. Um, I am fantastic running... venue. Oh, I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited to check it out. It's it's, it's like Avondale on steroids to a degree. Okay. Just a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm um, excited. So... I'm excited. We're gonna get into last night. And that's why I've asked you to be on awesome. because you did the last two nights. So we're going to, we're going to talk about that. But of course we have to talk about New Year's first, December 29th, 30th and 31st at the Riv in Chicago. Um, tickets are sold out. Three day passes are sold out. UMVIP is sold out. Um, but single day tickets are available. Um, all the links are in the description box for what you need. Um, Le Special is opening the first two nights. Um, drummers are to be determined. Um, but, I mean, with Rory there, he'll probably sit in. Um, he did do fills at uh, Red Rocks two years ago. I think I wrote it down here. 2022, so last year. Um, so he's already sat in on an original Umphreys tune. I would predict that he'll come out for a couple, um, but other drummers are to be determined. i um, excited to see who um, fills in for Chris, for sure. It's been really, really cool and special and awesome to experience last weekend with Dwayne and then to listen to these shows with Ben um, and having Jake and Andy. And it's just been a really like special thing. Of course, everybody misses Chris. Um, it's been really cool to have a different flavor and a different taste and having different experiences with these songs we're so familiar with. So um, I'm excited for New Year's. Of course, the 31st, Mad Dog's Filthy Little Secret with Jeff Coffin. Um, I've been thinking about some covers I want them to do for New Year's with those horns. Maybe we'll get a 25 or 6 of <laughs> Your first Humphreys like New Year's this year, right? No, no, I was there last year. You were there, there last Atlanta. year. That's right. That's yeah, right. They, they, they love Atlanta, so they've treated me well. We won't talk about last year's New Year's for those of us oh, yeah. that were in Buffalo. Yeah. We won't talk about that. Anyways. <laughs> I had to deal with my brother, so it was, uh, it was great. <laughs> it's okay. I have a new car this year, and I made sure it's got all-wheel drive, so we're no matter what happens, I will be in <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I got to do. Um, all right. So as I mentioned, um, the band has been on the road with Ben Atkind, the drummer from Goose. And my show dropped among this crowd this past Thursday, dropped a very special episode with the Goose Girls podcast hosts, Leslie and Hannah. And we talked about the Jake and Joel sit in at Resonance. And then we got into what we kind of thought it was going to be like having Ben in. Um, awesome chat with those ladies. They are so, so cool. Um, so check that out. Um, of course, anywhere you podcast. Um, and then we're going to get together and talk about having uh, Ben on these shows too, which is, is going to be cool. Um, so last night, Asheville, capacity 3,350. Okay. So how was like... There's room to dance. There, How was it last it's, night? It's it's a roomy venue. It's okay. got a slight incline back up towards the uh, sound booth. Nice. You know, and then kind of like uh, Avondale, everything's spread out around it. Nice. And so um, 
you know, uh, down front, um, crowded, but you can move through. Like nice. people were coming and going, not quite from the rail, but you know, second, third tier, they were coming and going from there. So everybody was, you know, respectful, hunched in, but like yeah. everybody had their own little room. Nice. And it, it felt, it felt crowded, but like rooming, if that makes sense. And yeah, it totally and does. And everybody was out spread out around. So it was a big crowd. I felt like. Cool. I'm excited for tonight. Saturday night's going to be a good one. Uh, Daniel Donato opened. I'm bummed that I missed that. Um, he was a guest on episode one, season two of Stew on This with Carl and Rob, that show is a member of the DATC Media Company Network. Um, check that out. Great episode with Daniel Donato. That dude is so awesome. And he sat in on two songs last night. So talk about the sit-in. So they, like, you know, like we were talking earlier, they, they picked a, a, an aggressive song for him to sit in on the first one. And, um, you know, they killed it. He, he settled in for maybe, you know, the first... Uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then once he got his uh, feet about him, uh, it was a damn good jam. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Um, you know, he, he really fed off of uh, Jake and Brendan. They kind of like took turns and, you know, he, he was definitely looking for cues. And once he, he got them and everything, like it, it was it was fun to watch yeah. watch it happen. Cause like you could tell he he was like, oh, what is, yeah. Cause it's, it's they, so much faster than his style. For sure. And, uh, you know it, it was it worked out to be a great jam for sure yeah it was awesome to listen to it i was driving into Asheville, um 10 hours um <laughs> <laughs> things we do for this damn band right um but i was listening to the stream and which was pretty cool to be able to drive to a show and be hearing the show that's happening right now um technology is pretty awesome um but yeah it was it was really cool to hear him find like find his groove and find his voice within their voice in the jam um but yeah it was really it was really cool to see him sit in such an awesome dude and i love his energy and just his vibe about his playing and his mentality about the world and all of that he's just yeah. he's a really cool dude very and of cool course dude. the second song choice was just you know wow couldn't yeah. have been more perfect of course his groove and i think first time i saw him he opened for tyler um yeah. so you know, it's perfect just, choice, perfect choice. Um, you know, and they, they just work well. Well, and that's one thing too. And I've said this many times about like with Umphreys anyways, they don't just cover a song to cover it. Um, but then when they have a guest, they're always so good at picking a cover yeah. for the guest. Yeah. And that was the, the truth last night too. So talk about some other highlights from last uh, night. Well, talking about other covers. I mean, you know, I have, I love my ween and, and to see, <laughs> see Claude out there, like just completely unexpected. And, uh, the Grove is, is, is a favorite, but transdermal is like one of my like really favorite weens. It's just, uh, it's a spacey, just jammy, just perfect for, for offers. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I was, I was giddy. Yeah. Was you're geeking last I, night. I was absolutely <laughs> giddy. Like, did not even know what to think. And I love it. You know, we, we all see these bands and like, we all have the shows like right now, that show was, that was my show. Like that yeah. was from beginning to end. Could have been more perfect. I and love that. So yeah, that's so great. I love that. See, this is, this is why he had to be on. <laughs> this is why, this is why. All right. So then let's talk about Thursday night in Huntsville. It's the first time they've ever played at the venue and in the city of Huntsville capacity of only 1,250. And I've kind of been going through that show, so I only have a few highlights. Uh, Professor Wurmbog, Miami Virtue, No Comment. Um, I think those are all the songs that Jake was drumming on, too. So yeah. <laughs> I digress. Um, but what were your highlights from Huntsville? Obviously, you know, I hate, I hate that I love the cover so much, but, you know. Yeah, it's okay, I, though. Floyd is, Floyd is the top five, yeah. so to get my Have a Cigar, you know, the first time I think I've seen them play that. And... I saw Kanika sing it. Oh. One time, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Well, we've talked about that. that she gets it in anytime. 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 I'm just like getting goosebumps, just like yeah. reminiscing it. I'm like, oh my god, you're so amazing. <laughs> and then Africa, I mean, like it just for me, that was just kind of came out. It's so playful and so fun. And it is so fun. It is so fun. Like, I, I thought that they were just doing like one of their little 
teases and then they were going to go into something. So I was shocked because I get, he started singing. I was like, wow, okay, they're actually going to play it. That's kind of been one of the fun things about not having Chris here and having the other drummers and people sit in and do all these different things is we've been getting more covers. And you know what? I love Umphrey's originals, of course, but the covers are always so fun and they do them so well and it's fun to they, hear they them. They do covers as good as anybody and like, you know, um, remember back to the drive-in shows in Atlanta, like they did a, I forget what Floyd they did there, but like me and my brother are just like, are we at Floyd? Yeah, like it, it, yeah. It was... They make sure when they do a cover that it's so respectful to the original musician and the artist and they just paid so much respect to the original song while adding their own flavor. And that's not easy. No. It's not easy at all. And we have to talk about the Benny and the Jets from last weekend really quickly, okay? Fun story, guys. So, yes, best wedding band around. I love that. <laughs> so, last, <Absolutely. laughs> last weekend, and I got to hang out with Jason in New Jersey, which Fantastic. was cool. We got to rage the show together. So, in Utica, the night before Utica in Baltimore, after the show, I was talking. We were just all hanging out. And I said to Bayless, somehow Elton John came up. And I said to Bayless, I said, you know, I don't bring this up very often, but I have been waiting 17 years, the entire time I've been an Umphreys fan, to hear you sing Benny and the Jets. That was it. That was subject went on to something else. So the next day in Utica, I see it on the set list, and I'm like, are they going to actually play Benny and the Jets? And as we all know... They did. <laughs> Benny and Deborah was born. <laughs> and so I'm so happy that I spoke up and finally got the thing that I've been asking. And I, I didn't even realize when I saw the set list, that's what it was. Like, I, I went back and this second to hit nugs and I was like, wait. The, oh. It was so great. And I will never forget like those first notes and they just go in and they're all looking at me and I'm like, guys. This is so great. Thank you. So, yeah, Benny and Deborah. Fuck yeah, for life. Um, all right, so night two, Salvage Station. Very excited to check this place out. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go live on Instagram and do some videos and check out the venue. Tomorrow night, Signal One in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Last time played there, February 20th, 2022. That's only the third time they've played there. Um, the other time was August 22nd, 2019. And if you can't make tonight or tomorrow, there is a free stream on Nugs, um, thanks to Keith Greiner and Fierce Productions. Um, so if you're not a subscriber, there's a link in the description box where you can sign up. Sign up for Nugs. It's worth it. Trust it me. It is. <laughs> freaking addicted it's she, so worth she it she hounded me and like it's all over freaking <laughs> it is so worth it and not just for umphrey stuff i mean there's so much music on there there's other live streams that they do billy strings and mo i think has done live streams yeah. on there and there's a lot so i mean it's worth it you get a lot for sure um and yeah i got some notes about last week of course um Oh, yeah, Squeaky Feet was just added. Yeah, they're, like, adding newer bands, and they added some Peter Gabriel live shows. They added some Yes live shows. They've there's Eric Clapton one hit today. Yeah, yeah, show. see, there is so much shit on there, so sign up for Nugs. Do it. You won't be. You won't, won't be sorry. All right, and so we were talking earlier about um, the drummers – which I just keep coming back to it because it's just a big thing that's going on now. And Dwayne last week was amazing. He's such an awesome guy. We had a lot of great conversations last week on tour. And his drumming style was so awesome with the band, the way that it, it came together and how he was just so ready to like both feed in. He wanted to do this. And it was interesting because... By the third night of the run last week, I was already thinking of original songs I wanted him to play on, and Draconian was one of them, and I'm so glad that they played it because it was better than I had kind of imagined it in my mind, even with the fire alarm that was going off during Draconian. It was, it was funny because it's going off, and we're all like looking around, and we're like, 
We're not no fire? <laughs> Keep going. And we're all just still grooving until finally it got to the point of the jam where they were just like, the fire department has to come and turn it off, oh. you know? And so we all had to evacuate <laughs> mid-jam, go outside, turn the fire alarm off, and go back in. Um, but that was a big highlight um, for sure. But check that out. Um, and also, Michael Palmisano sit in last week. That was awesome. It was great to see him. <laughs> Dude. I, I love when he sits in because, like, you know, I mentioned this to you. Like, he is ear-to-ear -ear grinning. And, like, you know, his his page is phenomenal, and I love it. And uh learned so much about the guitar from him. Yeah. But, like, to see him geek out, like, we geek out? Like, while he's on stage jamming, like, it, it's – he – it's – the vibe and the energy, yeah, I freaking love it when he's there. I love it too. It was the first time we got to meet each other in person, which was great. We've been friends for a couple years now, and um, it was awesome to finally meet him in person. His wife, Annie, is just such a sweetheart. Um, we hung out the whole first set, and then you know, I got him all set up for his sit in and stuff. And he was it was so funny because we were on the side of the stage for all of Wappy, and before they first go into the lyrics, you know, builds up and then it goes into the lyrics. And he thought that's when he was supposed to go out. And so he's standing there with his guitar and he's so excited. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> but he was so ready to like, yeah. he wanted to get out there. Um, but it was really funny. And it was a very special opportunity to um, work with, with him and Jake and, and, be with them and and have that come together and um and he showed off the new telly prs which i love yes so. yes that's why i was like you guys got to put the guitars in the picture with yeah. me like it's the whole yeah. i'm like i even said to him i'm like i'm geeking right now you see it he goes i see it it's okay i'm like it's a great moment in my life right now between the two of you this is great so check out his video he did do a video of the sit-in, I was taping side stage and then Annie was up on the rail. It was funny because she's, I think she's only maybe been to one other Umphrey show, maybe. And I s set her up on the rail. <laughs> I was like right into the yeah. lion's den. But I told her, you know, this yeah. is Michael's wife. And she comes back and she's like, everybody was so nice. The and videos so, were fantastic and, from both angles and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was, it was he really did a great cool. job of, you know. Putting it all yeah. together and stuff. So yeah, check that out. Um, on YouTube, Michael Palmisano sit in on Let's Dance, and there, there's been plenty of times I've been on this YouTube live and have shared with my entire audience how I feel about when Jake sings that song. So, yeah. extra geeking out yeah. that day. So, yeah. And also, let's take a moment to talk about Jake's new Floyd Rose. If you've been following on Instagram, <laughs> you've... Uh, seen how many miles I logged and we just talked about it I can add some more because yeah. it's, it's with me today so can't wait yeah I think he's dude it's so sick and he's gonna probably play it tonight again so I'm excited to add some more miles to that that guitar's a road warrior too it's I know some miles. we've we have been on quite the adventure I think I want to make a scrapbook yeah. Because I've taken, like, pictures while I'm driving and do, like, selfie, and it's, like, in the back seat. I think I want to do a scrapbook. you got to my back at all the, like, scenic views, <laughs> signs, and, you know. Overlooking, like, things yeah. and stuff. Yeah. All the tourists get it, like, hat yeah. and touristy thing. I'm going to do this. This is awesome. great. I'm going to share more about that whole story. It's a whole story, guys. And I'm going to share more about that and the whole weekend with Michael and everything else on an upcoming episode of my show dropped among this crowd it is sick Jason. oh it's so sick and we're gonna head to the venue in a little bit and i'll open that case before we get over there so you can look at her in person she needs she needs a name and i said i wanted to name her so stay tuned because i don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> i don't know yet i don't know um all right let's see also datc news uh, Much Obliged dropped a new episode 113 on Monday. Sean M. Check that out. I think Benji also said that they um, just started a Facebook page. Um, so I will throw that in the link. I'll look for that and throw that in the link. Um, and they were there at 
table set yeah up they were there last, last night. night yep they'll be there tonight again too and then another episode will come out monday of that um that's been just a lot of fun to just work on and and have um working on the summer recap recap episodes i have so many shows from the summer to to do but those are coming so keep your eyes peeled for that and summer fall edition of crooked conversations pre-order is coming in the next couple of weeks um it's been an intense august so i've got a lot of a lot of work to catch up on um and membership packages also for patreon people are coming soon um i'm gonna do a post on patreon that's gonna say like what each tier gets for the merch packages so if you're wanting to like upgrade and get a certain merch thing you can do that somebody asked me if this merch is going to be available um it's not the only way you can get this merch is if you're a patreon it's for my patreon people um there are some t-shirts and stickers available on the datc media company website um if you just want regular merch I'm thinking of some other things I want to work on. Um, but yeah, check out patreon.com slash DATC Media Company. We've come so far. There's five episodes on there. Got some more of those to do. I think I got four or five. You should do that show, too. Should Which have one? you on and talk oh, about yes. your traveling yeah. and stuff. We should do that. I've thought so. about reaching out to yeah, the we should. It. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, and if anybody else is interested in being a part of that, um, reach out or there is a link on the website where you can uh, be a part of that. So, been traveling a lot in August, which means lots of content coming your way in the fall, which is great because the band's going to be off. So, DATC is going to have a lot of stuff for you. All right. So, I think that's everything. I got a question. Go ahead. So, uh, with Chris not here okay. and... Any songs hitting the uh, the the Hall of Fame or what? What is it you call it? Your uh, my Hall, my twenty twenty three Hall of Fame contenders list. So, so do they get an asterisk? Does it say Christmas? You know what's what's it? Yeah, I mean, I think it would, and I think anything that is played is still is on the table because there's definitely. Um, some songs i'd have to, i'd have to sit and think for a minute but there's definitely some really fire songs from last week that that would be contenders so you know even though he's not there it was just, I, I hate it that he's not here but i just of course of course but like i said it's been so very interesting and and cool to get something that we're so familiar with just something a little different like when somebody makes your favorite dish and adds like a different spice yeah. into it and, and you know i'm i'm enjoying seeing jake behind the drums i'm enjoying seeing andy behind the drums yeah. like, i mean you know if if you know any sort of history of jake or anything you know that he was a, a drummer first and we sometimes forget how well he plays the drums and how well andy plays the drums and how well brendan fucking throws down you know yeah. with jake being behind the kit yeah. You know, Brendan is over here doing things that are different and you're like, fuck yeah, Bayless, <laughs> you know, and, and there, or there'll be a different part of Joel because, yeah. you know, something is different in, in the makeup of the song right now. And so Joel is, is playing a different part or there's different bass here or something. And it's, it's really cool. And they don't miss a beat better than anybody that like. You know. We said this earlier, yeah. that if there was somebody who didn't know that Chris wasn't there and didn't have extensive knowledge of, of Umphreys, would listen to these shows, especially this past couple shows. Yeah. You know, we talked about this too. Like, Dwayne, again, amazing. Love you so much. You threw it down so hard. But if you're going to take Dwayne and Ben and say, if you close your eyes, who is, sounds more like Chris? It's Ben. Both phenomenal, though. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing, and I'm really excited to see Ben in person in in action tonight. I, I and, was I was very impressed with it. like I, you know, one of those people I've yet to see Goose. Yeah, uh, and so and see, and, and a lot of people, especially you know, if Jason is still watching. We've had extensive conversations about Goose, and I even shared this on that Goose Chicks podcast. Is Goose is not for me, but that's okay. That's the great thing about music. There's so much of it. It doesn't have to be, um, but I love the camaraderie between the bands, yeah. you know, and the fact that, you know, they were a man down and, and these guys were like, we're there for you, 
you know. And Wait. it's such an awesome opportunity for them, too. I mean, come on. Dwayne gets to play with Umphreys, yeah. and Ben gets to play with um- So, for them, it's a cool experience, I mean, I, too. You know, I've listened to Goose. I just haven't had the opportunity to see him. And so, I didn't know how well he would fit in. And, yeah. like, it was way better than what I was. Yeah, he held it down. That robot world last night was nasty, too. So, yeah, yeah we, we definitely have had conversations. Jason, <laughs> did you listen to that Goose Girls podcast? Because I was thinking about you, like, when I was doing that and, like, releasing it. I was like, oh, I wonder <laughs> what Jason would think about this. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, yeah, definitely give that a listen for sure. Um, all right, so that's all I have. That was awesome. Yeah, this was awesome. I'm super excited that this worked out. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, let me know what you think uh, when you're done with that. All right, well, we're going to hang out, probably get some food, and get ready to rage. I will see you around these parts next week. Mad love.